Hello, fifth and sixth grade. How did you do programming the micro bit to play rock, paper, scissors? Did you win? Today you'll code the micro bit in many different ways. Let me show you. On the home page, slide down and click technology. Click technology. On the online tech page, slide down and pick your grade. Choose either fifth grade or sixth grade. The new Google Classroom assignment says Microbit Lesson 3. Watch the video to learn to code the Microbit. Then open the link to make code and program the virtual Microbit. This week we'll code a game called Snap the Dot. Click the link for Make Code. In Make Code, we'll start a new project. Click the plus sign. The project name will be Click the Dot. Then click Create. In Make Code, we have our On Start block and the Forever block. We'll need those two blocks today. You'll also be able to see your virtual micro bit. Let's start by creating a variable. Slide down to the red variables. Click. Click on Make a Variable. We'll call our variable Sprite. S-P-R-I-T-E. Then click OK. We want to take the Set Sprite to 0 out and drag it and click it into Start. We'll go to some new coding blocks now. Slide down and click Advanced. Slide down even further to the Game Codes. Click Game. We want to create a sprite at 2, 2. Click the first block click and hold and drag it out and put it into the zero on our code. On our virtual micro bit, you can see the sprite that we made. It's at two, two. Now we'll add some code to the forever block. Let's find the forever block by clicking and holding it and dragging it out. We want to go back to the game blocks. Click game. In the game blocks, we'll look for sprite move by one. Do you see sprite move by one? Click and hold and drag it out. Put it in the forever block. Did you see your sprite move? It moved by one, and now it's stuck on the side. We want the sprite to bounce if it's on the edge. Go back to game. Click game. Find the block that says sprite if on edge bounce. Click and hold on sprite if on edge bounce and connect it to the forever block. Watch your micro bit. It's moving very fast. Let's slow it down by clicking on basic, sliding down to pause. Click and hold on pause and drag it over and snap it in the forever block. This will slow our micro bit sprite down. To slow it down more, click on the 100 and change it to 200. To slow it down even more, click 500. Nice job. I'll change mine back to 200.
we now have our sprite moving back and forth on our micro bit. Now we want to make on button A pressed. Go to input. Click on on button A pressed. Drag it out. We want an if then statement. Go to logic. Pull out an if then statement and put it inside the on button A pressed. Just like last week, we want to write a math problem. Go to logic. Pull out a comparison block that compares zero equals zero. Click and hold and drag it and put it into the true block. Now we need something to compare. Go back to the game blocks. Pull out Sprite X. Click and hold on Sprite X and drag it into the first zero block. This says if Sprite on the X line equals zero. We want that number to be two so that it's in the middle. Click two or type two. What's going to happen when I press button A whenever the sprite is on two? I'm going to change the score by one. Go to game. Find change score by one. Click and hold and drag it out and put it in the then area on this block. If the sprite is on two, then I'm going to add a point. Now I want to go back to the buttons. Go back to input. Pull out an on button A pressed and change it to button B. When button B is pressed, I want to know what the score is. I'm going to go back to basic and show a number. Click and hold on show number and drop it in on button B pressed. What number do I want to show? That's the score. Go to game and show the score. Click on score and put it in the zero. When button B is pressed, I'm going to show the score. Let's try it out. When the sprite is exactly on two, that's where I want to click. That's button A, remember. Click button A. I scored a point. Did you see it? Click button A. Scored a point. Click button A. Another point. What's my score so far? Click B. Four points. What's going to happen whenever I shake my micro bit? Maybe the game will be over. Go to input, on shake. I'm going to go to games, and I'm going to end the game. Game over. That will be on shake. Click shake, new game. When the AB is pressed, the game will start over again. What's the game? Click on button A when your sprite is exactly in the middle of your micro bit. What's the score? Click button B. To shake the micro bit, the game will be over. Click the AB button to start over. To make the game harder, go to pause and change it to 100 milliseconds. Good luck with creating your game today. Try it out on your virtual micro bit and I'll see you next week.